That's it. 20 seconds left. <sighs> You're doing awesome. morning. So yesterday I had a training session with Miles Lucas. Miles is a Wim Hof certified breathing coach. He's also a very good jujitsu black belt. He invited me up yesterday to train some jujitsu. He then ran me through a breathwork session and we finished it off with a cold plunge. I thought my breathing was pretty good for jiu-jitsu considering I've been working on it for a long time, but after working with Miles, I realized that I have a lot of room for improvement, and so I'm pretty excited to bring this video to the channel. Unfortunately, I had a little mishap. The autofocus on my camera was turned off when we filmed the breathwork session and when we did my cold plunge, so it's a little bit blurry. I apologize for that, but you can still kind of see it and you can certainly still listen to the information. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Do the on-camera meet. Connect with you. Hey, all right. <laughs> nice to meet you, brother. Man, my pleasure. We're Thank you for inviting today. me, man. Kidding? This is uh, this is what we do, isn't it? This is what we live for, man. This is the way to meet, right? Awesome. On the mats, it. baby. That's right. That's right. <laughs> One of the things I noticed when I started rolling with Miles was that he was breathing fairly heavy even though we weren't going that hard. And I thought, man, he can't be this out of shape. But no, it turns out that his philosophy about breathing is that you want to be super oxygenated. You want to give yourself a reserve in the event you have to redline yourself. If there's a scramble, if there's a moment where you have to hit the accelerator, you want that extra oxygen to support that new level of output so you're not always trying to catch up if your physiological demands are greater. This is definitely something that I want to start working on in my own game because it makes a lot of sense. We did it. <laughs> we did do it. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you, Miles. Yeah, my pleasure. Dude's a beast. Dude is a really good, solid jujitsu practitioner. There was never a point at which I felt like I really had anything. <laughs> oh, man. Anything. Well, uh, you know, I am in San Diego, and I get to go uh, everywhere. I train at Alliance. I train it here at Prism yeah. Jiu-Jitsu, the um, Rooms, Clark Gracie's. Uh, okay. Keenan's gym on Sundays, Keenan Cornelius' gym. There's so many places yeah. that we get to train to yeah, down here. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying just uh, integrating down here. Man, you know, I came from Wyoming, yeah. and I ran a little school in Wyoming, and it's it's easy to be top dog in a little tiny environment in the middle of nowhere. But you come down here to San Diego, you realize just how insanely good a lot of people are. The number one way to improve your jiu-jitsu, in it's my more opinion. Jiu -jitsu is breath work, breath work. Really? Yes, because uh, when you start to, everyone's got great moves, first round, yeah. second round, third round, maybe, yeah. but then your ability, your mental acuity starts to diminish uh, and your ability to execute starts to diminish. So breath work really is the key to not getting quite so tired. And, uh, and if you think about it, if you really consider this, this is a logical way to consider it. When you are mashed up against the wall and your own knees are in your face, uh, involuntary yoga is what we call it, right? And you're getting exhausted. It doesn't matter how you slept or what you ate. Uh, energy is in the air. How you breathe in those moments are how, what's going to help you recover and and, uh, and have energy to keep going. And when you say breath work, are you talking yeah. about the breath work, the Wim Hof stuff that you do, that you teach? That's right. Well, is that part of it? That's part of it because that increases your diaphragm strength and uh, potentially capacity and mental. Uh, awareness of kind of where the breath is. So that's just okay. one element. You know, I've also got to sit on, on the mats with Master Hicks and Gracie and learn the belly movements and learn his breathing, which is almost the opposite. And so we'll practice some of that today. If you yeah. want to forceful yeah. exhales yeah. in the midst of action, it's probably the most potent way to uh, dump the CO2 to make this gas exchange in the lowest part of your lungs, these forceful exhales. 
yeah. just like a, a tennis player would do it, just like kung fu would do yeah. it, you yeah. know? Yeah. Maybe a, a fishing axe thrower would do it, a forceful exhale when you go yeah. is the jam. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I, I've never done, I mean, I've dabbled a little bit here and there and that stuff, but never under capable instructor <laughs> to, you know, teach me properly how to breathe. And I'm looking forward to going to your place and doing that. Oh, it's gonna be right. awesome. Yeah, yeah. wait. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna get serious. We're gonna put ice in the tub. I'm a newbie, I am a newbie here. So he's giving me the, the newbie on-ramp with ice. This has never been done. This cold punch has never been so cold. You're a maniac, Miles. <laughs> This is what Miles did to me my first ice bath too. It was like, that first one was the coldest one I've ever done. And we were filming a commercial too. This, this is Nick, by the way. Nick runs Prism Jiu Jitsu. We were, we were just training. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, Good awesome training. guy. Thanks Good for coming. Training. Yeah. And now we're gonna, we're gonna suffer. We're gonna suffer a little bit. <laughs> okay. I'm a newbie, so. I have no idea how bad it's gonna be, so I'm like, no problem. This is nah, yeah, ignorance is bliss on this one, I think. But yeah, it's not gonna be great. <laughs> it's not gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. The tub is full of ice. We're gonna let it cool down while we do a breath work session. Oh, this is, a, this is crazy. First, let go of the pressure, and then let go of the breath. Good, this is it, this is last round. Feeling good? Yeah. Everything working? Mm -hmm. Okay, start slow. Here we go. A tingly? Yeah. Start nice and slow and make it like a little bit of a ride, a ride of difficulty. So when your body starts to offer that resistance, you gotta push past the resistance. So we're gonna be breathing for two minutes. We're already 30 seconds in. Let's kick it into the next gear and pick it up a little bit. Try and meet that resistance. Try and feel some of that resistance and maybe even push past. Nice full breaths in. Letting go without pushing air out. Letting go effortlessly. All right, 30 seconds left to get outside your comfort zone. Let's pick it up one more time and go faster than we've gone yet. Last 30 seconds to go hard. Try and get some goosebumps happening behind your ears, your neck and shoulders. 10 seconds left, let's go. Perfect. Short breaths in, long breaths out through the teeth. And let your body deflate and relax as you sit into that shift of consciousness that the dizziness provides. Nice and relaxed as exhales, just deflating through the lips and teeth. We're almost to the end, guys. Last one. All right, forget that breath, loosen up, sink back up with me in three breaths. Here we go, three, two, one. Last, big deep breath all the way in. Let it go slow. Find that neutral zone or slightly above. Close your eyes, sit comfortably, and check in. Very good. So what's kind of interesting is, uh, and then at one point on the last round, I think you got kind of off too when we were doing uh, the slowing the breath down. When you start to, it's hard to pay attention right. when you get into this uh, consciousness state because you are disassociating. Yeah. So we call it uh, interoception. So there's five senses. Uh, outside of the five senses, there's more. And interoception is the sense of what's going on inside. So 
when you start to get dizzy, dizziness is just a layer of consciousness between conscious and unconscious, and it's very navigatable. And uh, once you get dizzy, you are in this layer of consciousness that is disassociating from the outside world. And it's literally the body's mechanism to say, if you're standing, sit down. If you're sitting down, put your hands down. Dizziness is awry. And that means that your body is, is forgetting about the outside world, forgetting about potentially the stresses, the things you're worried about or whatever. And it's like, hey, hey, focus on what's going on here. And so to use this method to create that shift in consciousness and that this mechanical meditation uh, is very valuable for a few moments of the day. It's useful to dismiss your stress, to take some time, some me time, and, and get out of that uh, consciousness where we're so aware of everything else that's happening and all the stuff we have to do. And so hopefully you felt that. I did feel that. Yeah. And I'm curious for those of us that, do, that uh, train jujitsu. Yeah. What is the carryover to regular breath work? What is, is it a stronger? Yes. So we're just system. We are breathing for that in particular. That does two things for jujitsu. For sure that strengthens your diaphragm and your breathing process in general. For not only jujitsu, but all sports. You get good at some, you do regular breath work. Uh, you can change how much uh, asthma affects you. You can change significant things that a stronger breathing process would affect. But then secondly, the disassociation. So that one little 10 minute one that we just did, that is what you can do in your car when you roll up to a new gym and you're about to do open mat and you see a bunch of uh, monsters outside and you get a little nervous. Yeah. So that nervousness can be completely and I'm not even, I don't talk, I'm not meaning it, uh, it's gonna make you feel a little bit better so you can handle it better. No, no, it will completely diminish the areas of the brain that uh, would be associated with that stress. So it's not like this works a little bit, this works so well that uh, you can overdo it. You can be so loose, loosey-goosey and so sort of stoned or high from this stuff that, uh, that you would lose focus doing that. So you use this in just sort of the proper dose to disconnect, to disassociate, to not be nervous, and you won't be. And we've seen it from countless jiu-jitsu teams now are using this to not be nervous for competition. Mm -hmm. And that's really how I got into this stuff was because I would get nervous before competitions. And uh, mine was so bad, I would get nervous the moment I signed up, like a month out, yeah. I, I'm like, I hit send. I'm like, oh man, and I would get these butterflies and I hated it. Cause I was like, this doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm busy, I'm wasting my weekend if I'm gonna just go feel this little sickness. And what I realized is that Wim took a group of guys that were supposed to get sick they're injected with this endotoxin, a dead bacteria, and they literally knew that these guys were supposed to get sick for three hours, and they didn't get sick. And using the breath work, using their adrenaline control. And so I thought, man, I get sick when it comes to competition. I feel that sickness. Loss of strength, loss of saliva, all this stuff. I was just wondering, would it work for this? And so absolutely it works for this. I don't get those symptoms anymore. And then I got brain scans before and after the breath work and I saw what was happening and I saw the change in brain activity and it makes perfect sense now. And so this is mechanical, you follow the steps, it works every time, yeah. Whenever you're ready, professor. All right, let's get over it. <laughs> let's go. Push that ice out of the way. Oh! Go. Oh, the ice on my shoulders! <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Look at that! Looking good! What was the breath? <laughs> Don't forget! Shut up, you know it! Take that! Five, four, three. Hold on, buddy. Gotta get some pictures of you. Two. Look at all that ice in the you. <laughs> One, two. Give me a shaka or something. Pretend like you like it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Was that worse than it usually is? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Timer start. Try and push the mice out of the way and sit back. Five 
feeling my extremities. Yeah, man, for sure. Oh shit, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You going? Let's do five together. Five, four, three, two, one. Lock in a full breath. Let it go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, what do you think? You're still cold. Uh, it still hurts. Give me five more breaths. Five. Oh, you're already over a minute. You're halfway done. Two. One, lock in a full breath for a moment, a little tiny squeeze, and then let go. Good, you feel that? You feel that upgrade you just got? That's it. If you're starting to feel good, you can start to breathe slower already. But you, the goal is to get calm in there, and you can't fight it. It's the strongest guys in the room that do the worst in the ice baths. You have to surrender. You only have 30 seconds left, brother. Just surrender to the sensation. That's it. 20 seconds left. <sighs> You're doing awesome. Have you found the place? Except for my legs. Except for your legs. Well, they're covered in ice water. Good work. Three, two, one. That's two minutes. You keep going if you want. Is that it? That's I. Uh, that's what I. That's you see what I'm saying? You did it. Go to three if you want. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm a wimp. No, you're not, dude. You just did two minutes in 30 degree water. That's it, baby. Oh, Respect. Oh, my legs. Oh, my <laughs> what do you need those legs for? You don't even need them. <laughs> Okay, that water was 36 degrees. And uh, honestly, it wasn't that bad. My extremities, my legs were cold. Uh, they suffered a little bit. Uh, my torso, once I got into the breath work, it was good, it was fine. I could have stayed in there longer. Really, it was my legs that told me, get out of here, get out of here. Shivering a little bit, but uh, I'm sure I'll warm up real quick. And um, yeah, good stuff. This is awful for me, just like you guys. This is a lot of ice we had. The coldest the plunge gets. I'm at 108. Last set, and we'll start bringing the heart rate down. Here we go. This is one of those days I would set a timer to make sure I don't stay in too long. Because <laughs> yeah. we're in the sunshine here. Sometimes after the face gets wet, the mammalian dive reflex really works best with the face. Yeah. And so my heart got 58 or so, 56, but uh, with a little bit of face uh, dip. We'll see, maybe it'll, it'll get even lower. Here we go. I'm out of here. This is freezing. <laughs> Rebirth. Woo. Well, thanks for joining me. <laughs> Appreciate you. Nice. Cheers. Thank you, brother. You, you exposed me to something brand new, and I appreciate it. If uh, my viewers want to get a hold of you, or find out more about you where can they find you? yeah for sure uh, breath fitness breath dot fitness online not dot com breath dot fitness and uh, breath fitness on YouTube Instagram Facebook we will do stuff again my friend yeah awesome cheers thanks for being here